What's up guys, this is Nick here from Budget Decks and today do we have quite the treat for you. Today we have the Diabetes deck. And man, is this, this is, this is a fun one. This is probably one of my favorite decks in a long time to have played against. Uh, disclaimer, this is definitely not one of my decks, uh, cause one, I am not this imaginative and two, you all know that I love pink card sleeves and you'll notice these are oversized red sleeves. So this deck has been lovingly provided by my friend Cameron, uh, who is actually in the room with me, but is afraid to talk. So it's totally fine. He just gave a peace sign. So <clears throat> we're going to kind of just jump right into this. First and foremost, this deck is worth $19.16. Uh, 1916, that year is two years after the Titanic sank, and I believe a year before America got into World War I. Frenchie, you can correct me in the comments. So let's just jump into this. Uh, obviously, we are going to start with the extra deck first, as we do. I just dropped the card. Okay, we're back. Um, so the first and foremost, I'm going to start with the XYZs. Uh, because this deck is food themed, we're going to do two copies of Crooked Cook because we got to cook those bitches up. Uh, his effect, basically, if you tribute monsters to your side of the field, he's going to gain uh, 300 attack for each monster tributed. Um, so he quite literally is cooking up these uh, monsters for his own gain. He's actually a pretty good card. I run him in uh, one of my other decks and he's actually quite cool. Uh, next up is the number 50, Black Ship of Corn. Um... It's spot removal, essentially. Any monster that has attack equal to or less than its attack, you can basically target and destroy. So it's just some basic spot removal. Pretty good card. And it has the word corn in it, so therefore it is food. Uh, next up is going to be, I think this is a guy sitting in a bowl of ramen. Two copies of number 63, uh, Shimoji Soldier. His effect is basically detachable material on the standby phase and either both people draw one card or both people gain a thousand life points so it helps both of the um it helps both of the players essentially so it's more of just a fun card i think it's in a ramen bowl or a rice bowl i can't really tell that's up to you for you guys to decide but he definitely has chopsticks in his hands um he also has 2000 defense which is pretty good for a rank one so you know he has a bit of a good booty on there you can put him on the field and do some shit uh, next is kind of the more expensive cards of the deck. We do one copy of Sea Monster Theseus because we do use the instant fusion in here. Uh, and we also have Star Eater. Star Eater has a really, really good effect. This is actually the card that makes this deck work. Essentially, when he is Synchro Summoned, he is a level 11, so he's a little wonky to get there. But that's why we have Theseus, obviously, because Fusion Tuner. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting way too into it. Um, Star Eater, first of all, he eats. So obviously part of the deck. And... He's, his special summon cannot be negated by any of that solemn shit, nor can it be negated by Grand Horn of Heaven. He just can't, his summoning can't be negated. And when he is summoned, spells and traps cannot be activated in response to his summon. So Torrential Tribute, Compulsory, all those type of cards, they wouldn't work against him. And better yet, he's an Ancient Gear. He has the Ancient Gear effect. During battle phase, when it attacks, it wants you, your opponent cannot activate spells or traps in response to his attack. So he's actually a really good 3200 beat stick because your opponent will have a very hard time dealing with it, uh, especially like turn one or turn two in the battle phase. Obviously, you can target and destroy him with Sakuretsu armor or... Um, I don't know, uh, point guard or whatever. Like, there's some cards that can obviously spot removal it. But overall, this is the boss monster of the deck, and it is one of the best cards in the deck. He is expensive. He is about $5 a pop, but he is worth that $5, in my opinion. It He really does just make this deck work. Like, without this card, I don't think this deck would be as good as it is. I actually had a hard time against this deck. Uh, anyway, so that's kind of the extra deck in a nutshell. So now we're going to go on to the meat and potatoes of the deck we are going to be showing off the beautiful burger deck. So obviously it is a burger deck, so we're gonna do three copies of Hungry Burger. Um, its effect, uh, it has to be Ritual Summons because it was made back in the day when cards, you know, weren't really Ritual Summoned often, and so they had to be in the effect. So it's an old card, you know, I think it's like circa 2005, um, it's old. Um, it is a warrior, so, you know, if Rhoda searched out level six monsters, you could technically search it out. I just noticed it was a warrior type monster. <laughs> Why the fuck is a burger a warrior? <laughs> it's so stupid. Um, but yeah, burger warrior, apparently. Next up, uh, everyone likes tomatoes on their burgers. So we're going to do three copies of our boy Mystic Tomato. 
Mystic Tomato is really good. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, special summon one dark monster with 1,500 or attack. Uh, 1,500 or less attack uh, face up in attack position to your side of the field. So he basically special summons dark monsters. So he's a pretty decent card in my opinion. Um, next, we're going to do three copies of World Carrotweight Champion. Um, he's, I mean, pretty cool. I don't know what he does. I don't remember what he does, but he's cool. Um, if this card's in your graveyard, send a plant type from your hand or face it from field to the graveyard. Special summon this boy. You can only use his effect once per turn. So he's a special summon, essentially. I'd also like to point out, his artwork is actually pretty fucking cool. I actually really like it. Um... Next up, one of my all-time favorite cards. Three copies of Marsh Macaron. And the reason this one is one of my favorite cards, because one, it's very cute. Two, it's a dessert. And three, it was in the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. And, oh, sorry, I have one more reason why. Four, his effect's really good. When you destroy one of these on the field, he special summons two others from the deck or graveyard. That is a once per turn, though. Uh, so if your opponent has four attacks, that's not going to work very well. But you can stave off a good two to three attacks with this card. Plus, it thins the deck, and it helps you go into your rank one monster, which is pretty fucking good. Um, next, I'm going to clear the field here real quick because this next monster deserves its own board by itself because it's just so freaking... It's my favorite card in the deck. Uh, three copies of Putrid Pudding Body Buddies. Now, if you drew these cards out of the pack, you probably looked at it and were like, what in the name of God is this garbage? It's a level one, 300 attack and defense. Like, it's just, it's just you know, the epitome of trash, right? I mean, it's adorable, but it's the epitome of trash. So this card is an interesting effect. Um, it can't be used as fusion, synchro, or XYZ material. Uh, and when it's faced up on the field, it cannot be tributed. So you can't even kaiju over it. You have to destroy it via battle. During your end phase, you can target one card in your pendulum zone and destroy it. And if you do, give control of this card to your opponent, and it'll burn your opponent for 300 damage each standby phase. So when I did a duel with my friend Cameron, he put one of these bitches on the field, and because of just the stalemate we were in, enough turns had gone by that he had burned me 10 times with it, equaling 3,000 damage. This card is a slow burn, but if you forget about it, it can... It can hurt you. So I really like this card. Plus, I killed him two times with his own card. So obviously, that's why it's one of my favorites. Anyway, uh, we're going to move on. Anyway, that's, it deserves its own thing. So Marsh Macaron, you know, we have the other weaker version of it. Two copies of Marsh Malone. Uh, when it's attacked, you burn your opponent for 1,000 damage. I mean, it's adorable. Come on. It's a basic card. Uh, one copy of Pump King, the King of Ghosts. He's mostly zombie support, and he is ritual material for your burger boy, your burger warrior, I should say. So, all in all, not bad. Uh, then we have one copy of Bacon Saver. Uh, he does some shit. I'm honestly not even going to care too much to explain it. Uh, one copy of Slushy. He's basically useless. And then one copy of Doom Donuts, who is extremely fucking uh, situational. He destroys shit on the field, whatever has an original attack or defense of zero. So this is good anti-zombie. This is good, um, yeah, mostly anti-zombie. That's really all I can think of that it would apply to. So those are your twos and one-ofs of your monsters. Honestly, not too bad. Uh, Bacon Boy is actually pretty good, but I don't remember what he does, so I'm not even going to bother. Next up is our Pendulum Monsters. We're going to run three copies of Ghost Beef, a very adorable card. Uh, once per turn, you can roll a six-sided die. Till the end of the turn, increase the card's pendulum scale by that number. Um, it's a pretty cool card overall. So, like, you just roll a dice, and it's like, wow, it's a five. Well, guess what? He's now at a scale nine. So, that, I mean, that's pretty freaking cool, in my opinion. I actually really like that effect. Plus, you get to use this sexy dice, which matches my playmat, if you didn't notice. Do you see that? It matches my playmat. Like, look, look, it matches. Look, see, there's pink, and there's pink over here. There's some pink on her dress. It matches. Isn't that cool? I love it. Anyway, so next we're going to go into three copies of M Mild Turkey. Uh, this card's pretty cool. Uh, first of all, I think it's throwing a bowling ball. I think that's what it's doing. Um, if it is, that's really cool. Once per turn, you can roll a six-sided die until the end of the turn. Reduce this card's pendulum scale by that number. So, I mean, boom. I rolled a two. Guess what? His pendulum scale is now at five. So if we combine that with the Beef Boy, it is now 5 and 9. I could summon a level 6. Hey, I could summon Pumpkin from my hands. Go figure. Again, the dice matches my playmat. 
And then our last pendulum one is Hello Hello, which is really funny. Um, I don't care about his effect too much, but what I do care about is the description of him. I'm going to read it out loud for you uh, in the most artistic way I can think of. Hello Hello, brain of tallow. Guts are gone, noggins hollow, seeking sweets and marching mallows. Watch your back and your candy sack. Isn't that fun? I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. I enjoyed it. I, I had a lot of fun, guys. That was so fun. Oh, cool little tidbit that I just remembered. Uh, Ghost Beef is the correct level for Hamburger Helper, or whatever the fuck that guy's name is. So, Hamburger Helper, good on ya. Speaking of Hamburger Helper, how do you summon out the Hamburger Burger? Hamburger Warrior, Nick. Oh, um, obviously with the ritual spell, three copies of Hamburger Recipe, that's how you do it. I just realized a pig is cooking it. That's kind of freaky, but whatever. So three copies of Hamburger Recipe, and I mean, pretty self-explanatory. It's a ritual monster, ritual spell. It does some shit. Um, then we're gonna go into another expensive card of the deck, Instant Fusion. It's about $4 currently. Pretty good card. It, get, it helps you get out Thestius going into your level 11. I mean, pretty simple if you ask me. And then one copy of Mystic Walk. This card uh, will tribute a monster and you gain its attack and life points. Pretty simple. And then into the traps, two copies of Golden Apple. It is basically a trap monster. You take damage, you special summon this boy. And then two copies of Pineapple Blast. When you normal summon a monster, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, destroy your opponent's monsters that your opponent controls the same number of monsters as you do. Pretty simple. And of course, last but not least, the Miguel Classic Magic Cylinder. Um, Y'all know what that does. So yeah, that is the Hamburger Helper deck, or what do we call it? The Diabetes deck. I am so sorry, Cameron. I am really bad at remembering the name of your deck. So that is the Diabetes deck, ladies and gentlemen. Really fun deck to play against. I would highly recommend, like, if you just have... If you're just like, man, Yu-Gi-Oh! is really boring, and I don't know, like, what deck to run, and I don't want to be competitive at all, but I just want to have some really good casual sex, I mean, fun, uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh!, then obviously you would go for the Hungry Burger deck. All in all, really good deck, really fun. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing against it. If you and your friends have really weak decks, this deck is honestly really good. It actually gave my Magnets a run for their money at one point. I, was, I mean, granted, I had dead draws, but... All in all, it, it gave me a, it gave me some hell. Like, it's a pretty fun deck, especially this bitch over here. Fuck this guy. Um, anyway, you guys have a good rest of your day. I hope to see you guys soon. Um, yeah. Stay sexy, motherfuckers. Toodles!